Hello and welcome to the physics topic, Gravity and Earth, Lesson 2, the Solar System. We're going to take a look at the solar system, what makes up our solar system and a couple of other key points we'll cover in this lesson. So, you've got some images there to give you an idea of what makes up our solar system. You've probably got a really good idea already. So you have a little look at this image. Um, that's got all of our planets that are recognised as planets and the sun. And they've got them, they've represented them there in some sort of size order. Um, you're not expected to know which is which from the image, but you are expected to know the order of the planets from the sun. And you are also expected to know what makes up our solar system. So obviously there is the sun, there are planets, you've got moons around those planets, sometimes there's more than one. You've also got stars and you've got the force of gravity and orbiting is taking place. Now those are key words that you need to know um, how to use them to explain what makes up the solar system. You're expected to know the order of the planets. So on that image there, you've got the Sun, followed by Mercury, then Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Then the first one with the rings around it is Saturn. Then you've also got Uranus and the last one is Neptune. It's important you know those and you there are many rhymes out there that you can learn to remember those. Now, you need to understand the difference between what a galaxy is and what the universe is. So very simply, the galaxy is a huge, large collection of stars. And then there are billions of galaxies that make up the universe. We are part of just one galaxy and our galaxy is known as the Milky Way. Now, the Sun and the North Star are just two of the stars that we have in our galaxy. They're the ones that we would common, commonly talk about, okay? So, galaxy is the collection of stars. The universe is a collection of those galaxies, all right? Now, a measurement you need to be aware of, and that is what is a light year. Now, a light year is a measure of distance. And it's how far light has travelled in one year. So the light year can then be used to measure huge distances. So distances between planets and stars. It's worked out that one light year is 9.5 million million kilometres long. OK, so you've got quite a few bits of information there. But you need to be clear on the order of your solar system, what makes up your solar system, what a galaxy is, what a universe is, and what a light year is, and what measure it is. And we will see you again very soon for lesson three.